it's good to know that you're all safe and healthy. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce the man behind the winning queen, the national director of Miss World Philippines and the official franchise holder of the Miss Echo Teen International. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Arnold Megafria. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the welcome. How do you call it? Lunch or victory press con? Mini press con for our new queen, the Miss uh, Miss Echo Teen International, Miss Rohan Tamundong. And I would like to thank everyone for coming over, especially our friends from pageant media and mainstream media. Thank you for coming even though we have this pandemic and sorry to say that we got only allowed to invite the maximum of 30. So I'm so sorry for the other people, other members from the media. Uh, come over because we have a very, very limited guest. I would like to acknowledge, of course, uh, the people I would like to acknowledge the presence of the parents. Your parents are here? Okay. Um, and of course, uh, Rogel Florence of Kaganda Florence. And I would like to thank also the people behind the glam team of Roman, the designer for responsible for her clothes. Uh, John Sudlon, and of course the, the hair and makeup by uh, El Elrod Young. All gowns provided by even on the last minute by Louis Pamelina, and of course the shoes courtesy of Jojo Bragais, and one of her mentor from the question and answer, uh, Nathan Season. And of course, the talent coach, Ryan Hama. I'm so proud about this because for, for the last, you know, since 2019 until to the 2020, we got at this Philippines have additional pride in terms of pageant, in pageantry, we got the title of Miss Echo Team International. So let's give him a warm of applause. And of course, uh, what I can say, this is actually the last minute. No? Uh, we supposed, we're not supposed to magpadala ng candidate in sa Miss Echo International, uh, Miss Echo Team International because of the problem with protocols, problems with, you know, the world we're having a hard time. It was a last minute preparation. Actually, I'm so proud of her because talagang binigay niya na even just a one-week present day ah, preparation to be honest. And when we got the victory, and thank you so much, Rohan, for bringing you, the crown to the Philippines. And um, what I can say to her, she's a very diligent and very responsible young lady, a very beautiful. And she's still in school. Up to now, that's been joined a great couple of school. You know, thanks to San Beda, San Beda College for very cooperative in school. Yeah. And that's it. I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming over. And here's Rowan. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being with us. I think about this. Love this press homecoming party. So I'm really thankful to all of you. And I'm proud to say I'm your Miss Echo Teen International 2020. Although um, my preparation was only less than a week, I'm still thankful for the results and I still uh, put such an effort into pre preparing for this pageant. I gave all of my best. I have a little touch of Filipino culture in my my competition, for example, the talent competition, and I'm really blessed to have learned so much more about what's happening in Egypt and about the environment. So thank you so much.
this point, we'll now open the Q&A segment. So if you have, I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of questions to ask her. So, Francis will be going around to ask the mic. Please, just raise your hand so he'll approach you. Toby. Hi, good afternoon. Report. First of all, congratulations for winning the first ever Miss Echo in the national title for the Philippines. Okay. Uh, Roan, uh, how are you going to serve your duties and obligations with Mandela? Actually, a few days before, we had a meeting about what's going to happen because my country is still facing the pandemic and in Egypt, almost there's no COVID cases there. So I told them to uh, just give us the list of what we're going to do. For example, the tree planting and all of the cleanup drive because maraming nagkakaroon ng uh, para a single use of plastics na yung pandemic since tinatapon lang natin yung mga face masks and hindi natin ginagamit yung reusable face masks. Kailangan na natin gumawa ng program how to save the environment while in a pandemic. So, gagawa pa ng listahan. Okay, uh, are you going back to Egypt to do something in Egypt? Sabi, um, I'm going back and forth na sa Egypt and um, sabi nila, I'm going to host this at International 2020 on March, sabi ng organization ng Seco Team, and I'm really happy about that. Okay, thank you. Pakala ko lang kay Mr. Arnold. I'm curious na ba? Ano ni? Ang eligible ka ba si Roan to compete for a higher title sa majority in the future? Maybe right after. She's still young. She's only 18 years old. So, she came to me to join Miss World. And that time I'm looking for a candidate for Miss Echo Team, and I said, "You're still young. Once, uh, can you be my candidate, appointed candidate for for Miss Echo Team?" And then we, we agreed. And then after that, she can still join right after this her reign. I mean, she can still join to a higher ground. And in addition, uh, one of his one of her activities, I just spoke to the founder and chairman, Dr. Amal that she's going to also to New York, you know, because she's automatically an ambassador of the United Nations for an ecosystem. Okay, thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you there. Thank you, Nolly. Ethan. Camilla Schneider. Well, I'm going to be talking about the last one. Good afternoon, Arnold. Uh, despite the very short flight of each one from Miss Echo Team International 2020, you look uh, outstanding. I wish you in your, particularly in your national history, as well as your in, in the evening of competition. The national history was made by Mami Dani Luan, a designer in the Luna in Pasatan. So uh, I'm really thankful it was all handmade, the baskets, and the fruits are made of reusable plastic and also styrofoams. So I'm really thankful. It's not that uh, heavy to walk on it. It looks heavy, but uh, the gown also was made by a Laguna designer, Mami Louis Pangilinan. So, mabilis lang yung preparation nun, almost two and a half days, ginawa yung gown, and no day na magdala ng competition kami, dun ko lang nagkit ulit yung gown. So, last minute, safety protocols of uh, 
what's happening in Egypt. So I researched more about the COVID cases in Egypt. So mostly 43 lang ang active cases doon, nagpat ng quarantine sila. And almost all of the people there doesn't wear masks. We have to wear masks inside the airport, but once we go outside, it's, uh, it's um, we're, we're not obligated, obligated to uh, wear masks. So after, yeah, so after that, um, my experience in the international pageant was very, uh, what do you call this, nakapanigago, kasi I'm competing uh, almost all of the girls all, of, all across the globe, and I'm so happy to have learned all of their culture, and most of it's uh, Egypt, and ang natutunan ko dun sa Egypt is to how to speak in Arabic, how to love their food. I love their food na kufta and falafel. That's what I always eat every single day. And I'm so thankful na nandun yung dalawang kong companions, which is si Mami Jong and si Elron. They always talk to me whenever I felt homesick throughout my journey in Sagalim. Then uh, after noon, we just uh, go sa mga events namin. Kasi mostly, nag-travel kami from hotel to hotel, so we're not allowed to go outside and explore Egypt a bit more. Pero pumunta kami sa mga hotel, sa Big Alvarez Hotel, and it's so amazing. The view is outstanding, and if nandun na kayo, may appreciate me yung ganda ng Egypt. Thank you so much. I love your neck time. Thank you. Um, Rowan, congratulations. I'm Amir from Sociology. Yeah, I actually regret the I'm not going to I got an invitation from Dr. Obama mm -hmm. that you put some, you know, government protocols that she just mentioned, late notice and it. But anyway, I told her about your, to this event, and she just told me that you are an amazing, beautiful, smart kind of thing. Okay, my question would be, uh, do you have any specific environmental advocacy? Because Miss Echo Team's organization calls on uh, environmental advocacy. So my focus is spreading awareness to the youth regarding environmental issues. Since, as I said a while ago, social media is a very powerful tool that we use nowadays. We use, that, we use it as information, we use it as communication to your family or your friends. And I want that to be the main focus, social media, to gain more information about what's happening in the environment. But more than that, what we need to focus on is to have a change in our mindset and also changing our lifestyle. I know this is very difficult for us to do because uh, since we're still in the pandemic, it's very hard. It's very hard for us to adjust. But trust me, it is for the betterment of our world. And as a team, all I can say is that our Earth is deteriorating from the Amazon burning to the ice cups melting. Um, we need to unite each and every one of us to stand up for what is right and to save and protect the environment. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Because I'm here to represent not only in my country, but also the people all across the globe. So I'm really thankful that this Equity International gave me this opportunity to address what's happening into, into the environment. Thank you so much. Thanks, Amir. G. Hi, everyone. Congratulations. To this World of the Queen's organization, I know. And, uh, Rohan, I just want to ask uh, when you arrived in Egypt, you were 19, when you all of you? We were 19. When I arrived, I was the 14th candidate. And after three days, all the girls went there and um, sat. Um, unexpected is for 30, but the other candidates cannot come because of the pandemic. So we're only 19 candidates who competed for the crowd. Okay. When, at what point in the competition did you feel or realize that you had a big chance to win it? Actually, my first day, all throughout my journey, there's a certain doubt in myself if I ever, if I ever win. But um, there's a certain point there that when I was social media, ko, I've gone through all the comments and grabe talaga yung support ng mga Filipino people. Doon ako kumuha ng confidence. Every time na tinitignan ko yung social media account ko, sabi nila, uh, congratulations, bring home the crown, you have a big chance of winning, and that made me 
uh, relieve myself even more. Actually, the first day that I arrived in Egypt, I had to go to the Philippines. I'm scared because it's my first international pageant. What if I'm not going to win? I'm not going to win. What if I'm not going to win? What if I'm not going to win? What if I'm not good enough to win the crown? I'm not going to win. 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 If you manifest to get the crown, makukuha mo yung crown na gusto mo. So always be positive and sinabi din ng uh, Q&A mentor ko, uh, whatever happens, kung sa'yo talaga yung crown, ibibigay yun sa'yo. Always pray and always have faith in yourself. Always have the confidence in you. And buti naman na ano ko yung sa, sa pageant ko, and hindi na ako kinabahan nun kasi Um, sabi ko, I'll just have fun kasi nasa ibang bansa ako and I have more to learn and uh, yun, that's it. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, so who, who was your happiest uh, moment for you? Actually myself because it's in me kung mag-exert ako ng best effort ko to join this pageant. Kasi may mga ibang candidates na uh, okay na sila sa in-exert na lang effort like okay na sila sa pinod na lang uh, effort sa pageant. Pero ako, I want to I want to exert all of my effort dun sa pageant na yun. Kaya every single day ng mga uh, event primes, uh, nagpipray ako and sinasabi sa sarili ko, um, I want to put some of the Filipino culture touch dun sa mga ginagawa. Kaya almost every labas ko, every uh, gowns and dresses that I wore, it's all made by a Filipino designer. I want to showcase their talent to the whole world. Okay, my final question is, um, how was the experience competing along with the uh, Netherlands Flamingo? Who was your fitness lecturer in the Amazon? Actually, Daniel Volk is my best friend. Uh, I, I thought she was going to be the representative in the Philippines here in Sagotini International. Uh, but we're still good friends. We still talk to each other. And she passed the crown to me last uh, Two years ago, sa Montiana, San Pablo, 2019, and I'm still grateful na nabinigyan niya ako ng lesson kasi she's my big sister. Napaka-thankful ako sa kanya na binigyan niya ako ng mga lessons on how to talk, on how, on how to speak like a queen, and really thankful ako na naging part ko siya sa life ko. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Jay. I think else, I would like to acknowledge the parents of uh, the mom of Rohan, uh, Mrs. Tamandong, and also the, the, the makeup and hairstylist Elton Young. El er Elton, right? Erwin. Hey, Rohan. Hello. I'm Adam Hinata from the Adam G. I would like to ask, uh, now that you won, what do you think this crowd means to you, considering that you're only Actually, this crown is not only a success for me, but also a success for each and every one who supported me all throughout my journey. And as I said a while ago, uh, less than a week of preparation, though it is impossible for a Filipina to win for herself. So yeah, I dedicate this to the person who helped me, my mom, my dad, my makeup artist, all of the people who helped me go through this to where I am today and also I want to uh, be the voice of change to the youth and I have a purpose for in joining this world with the peace. And I'm so thankful that I have an opportunity Sir Arnold to represent the Philippines on how to preserve and care for the environment. So I'm really thankful. So do you think you were meant for this? I think this is my destiny to win this round. Because it's impossible for a Filipina to win this kind of crown in less than a week. So I think it's my destiny. I, that's all I can say. Thank you, Adam.
the representative of the Philippines in this year's Encyclopedia International. Sabi ko, uh, sorry po, meron na po tayong group for the representative. Uh, she is my friend po. Confirm na po ba yun? Sabi, sabi ni Sir Arnold, wala pa kami na-appoint. Gusto mo ba? Tapos sabi ko, sure po, why not? Well, pero you have to leave. You have to leave next week, sabi ko. Sabi ko kay mama, mama, kaya ba natin yun? <laughs> Tapos, uh, from that on, sabi ko, sige, mama, gawa tayo ng plan. Let's make a plan sa gagawin natin every single day. So every day, we hadn't had any sleep. Tiretsin uh, natin kami sa photo shoot, sa Q&A. Yung Q&A mentor ko, we only had two sessions. Two sessions that only last for two hours. So, uh, dun sa state ko sa Miss Ecotine International sa Egypt, everyday kami natatok since iba nga yung time difference dun. I have to adjust, sabi ko. Uh, after lunch, katatawagan kita kasi walang wifi dun and maghina yung reception. And after nung sinabi pa yung mga sige gawa tayo ng plan, pumunta na agad kami kay Sir Arnold to uh, uh, to uh, talk about what's going to happen when I get to Egypt. Then we sign the contract and they put a, like, we have a formal turnover before I leave in Egypt. Kaya I featured Nico. <laughs> and my expression was, I was uh, thrilled. No, I was thrilled. I was uh, surprised. Na, meron silang, like, they believed in me. Kasi, it's very hard for a young team like me to represent the whole country at a young age. So uh, I'm, I'm really thankful that there are parts of Sir Arnold sa akin na believe uh, ko na pinagkakatiwalaan ako. Kaya thank you, Sir Arnold. Uh, Another follow-up question. So how did you how did you prepare for this pageant? Uh, we prepared for less than a week, and sabi ko sa nila. Uh, kino-congratulate ako ng mga graphic ko. Sabi ko, huwag niyo ako i-congratulate. Congratulate yourself. Kasi I'm not gonna be in this space if it wasn't for all of your help. So, congratulate yourself and I'm really thankful na tinulungan niyo ako. And, uh, tignan niyo naman sa, sa nangyari ngayon. Despite of this pandemic, despite of me being away, being thousands of miles away from you, we made it work. Kaya, thank you to everyone. Thank you. Question for the ELB. Since you're a renowned, you know, showbiz guy, and since most of the Miss World Queens have eventually ventured into showbiz, would you, would you plan to, you know, what are your showbiz plans for Rohan and Beverly? Actually, your dream is to be in show business from the very beginning pala. So that's a dear dream before uh, sumali siya for a budget. That I said, you're the most qualified showbiz personality. So part of her contract, of course, she will sign up with us. And then he will, she will sign also with a movie company. And, and at the same time, she will sign up an, an apparel brand soon. So we will see who. And of course, endorsement, that's what we're going to do to find her, a, find her an endorsement. Because you see, uh, she's a role model of the youth. So I'm sure we can get a lot of you know good brands that she can endorse. And also, the review prices niya are you have cash and you, have tra you will travel around the world. The same thing what the Miss Echo is doing also. And the most important here is being the ambassador of United Nations. You know, there's only few, there's only one pageant that, you know, accepted by United Nations, which is the Miss Echo. So Miss Echo and Miss Teen Echo International. So I think that's a big deal to be part of it. And that's not one year. I think that's five years that you, you being an ambassador. So, yung passport niya will be different too. But the change thing niya, then yung recognition niya, pupunta siya sa United Nations just to be recognized as one of the young ambassadors. That's great. Any more questions? Sir, 
Hi, good afternoon, everyone. First off, congratulations. And I'm Francho from Pagenite Philippines. Okay, so we've been mentioned a while back that you're a role model for teens. So my simple question is that, um, what does it take to become a role model? Actually, to be a role model, ako, personally, I don't consider myself before as a role model. May nag-chat sa akin, sabi na, Rohan, you are my idol, you're my inspiration. And that uh, has me in my heart, like, sabi ko, um, bakit kaya ako naging role model? First, it's my accomplishments at a very young age. I'm really thankful for that. Because ever since I was joining in pageantry, it's not only for myself. Uh, I want to be the voice of change to the youth. And yung pala yung pinapoint of every time na visual ako ng pageants. And I'm really thankful na binigyan nila ako ng gantong opportunity to share it all across the globe. And I'm really thankful na, na hindi lang ako yung ini-inspire na ibang tao, pero yung mga tao tumutulong sa akin all throughout my journey. So, I, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Pastor. Hi, sir. I have a question for you, Paul. Uh, I would like to ask, uh, what made you choose? Uh, what made you choose Rohan to be our candidate? From because this is, I'm talking from the perspective that you are only a national director for four years, but your eye for beauty has been getting way, way up there. Because it seems like you're producing winners after winners after winners. So. How are you developing this uh, Iver Beauty, winning Iver Beauty? Actually, when the first time I saw her, she went to the office. Oh, actually, picture first. You know, that's actually a picture of Johnson Dunn, the Ukrainian designer. And then I've been looking for a representative for the longest time. Um, to a point na lang. So I can't find a representative. Today I said, I asked Johnson Dunn if you can help me. And then he said, I have this uh, candidate, that, but he wants to join this world. So when I saw the photos, and she's 18 years old, so I said, na yun. Ito na yun. But I want to see her in person. I want to I wanna talk to her. So she went to my office, and I can feel something that she has an X factor and an explainable personality. And I said, oh my God, this is, this is it. The same thing what I feel, what I felt on kung nagdating wins sa na nanalo. Same thing when I then naramdaman ko. Sabi ko, ay, ito na yun. Ito na siya. Siya na yung representative. So I did, I stopped finding, I stopped, stopped looking for a candidate na uh, na represent. So, kasi, it's one week na lang eh. Wala pa akong representative. So, after that, ang dami na, before that, ang dami na ipapadala. Pero, wala akong nagugustuhan. So, alam mo yung kailan yung pulso? Nandun pa rin yun eh. So, pamaramdaman ko yun, yun na yun. So, hindi ko na siya tinigilan. So, after that, I spoke to her, and then I said, said, said a meeting with your parents. So, yun na yun. So, thank you for allowing uh, Rohan to be our representative. Now, she's now the pride of the Philippines. This is the parents of Rohan, Mr. and Mrs. Tawandong. And thank you for the, for the trust and confidence, at least, Naka, naka my parents ko kasi every time na mag-join ako ng pageants, nandun ko namin sila sa tabi ko. So, ayun, thank you mama for everything. Even though I felt a little bit homesick before I like, leave sa Egypt, sabi ko, mami, I really miss you. I want the crown, pero I can't hug you pa kasi wala kayo sa tabi ko. Kung pwede lang kayo lang dito ngayon, uh, ibigay ko sa inyong crown and yung sash kasi kayo yung panahal. Can we have a few words from the parents? I'm sure you're all very proud of your daughter. Of course, we're very proud of our daughter. Sir, stand up, please. Of course, we're very proud of our daughter. We have no words to say. We're just very happy for you. Yeah, thank you. And the mom. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, 
like your papa said, we are so proud of you. And, and you know that since the beginning, Ma Jane Ismanian, Quezon City, we love you and we so are proud of you. I love you. Thank you. Sorry, thank you. 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 I've been training with Peter Rogel when I was 13 years old. Oh, yes. wow. Sir, we'd like to hear a few words. First of all, congratulations, Ron. Uh, just like what Ron said, she started training with us when she was 13 years old. The moment I saw her, I saw the huge potential in her. That's when I know what you're talking about. No, but I don't think I'm going to be the hack. I'm going to be the 13 years old. 13 years. Yeah, 13 years. Uh, so she did so much with some of the batches, some of the beauty batches, like the squirrel, the bini bini. And throughout the years, I'm going to be the hack. 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 It was due to five years of training. And again, um, Congratulations, you have a bigger responsibility now. Thanks to you, sir. <laughs> Next we have Walter. Hello, Walter. Hey. Glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad. Actually, I'm going to collect things with Peter Lodge since I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to see you and I'm also so happy for you. Yes, I, I remember Paul, no, Miss uh, T, T. Teresa, the law foreign judge, and he talked to someone on one interview. And I'm so happy to have met you personally Olet, after years of not seeing each other. Yes. And I knew then that, you know, I, you would go far and look where you are now. But now that you have the crown, and you've come home, given so much joy to the organization and to the country. What is your Christmas wish for yourself, for your family, and for the country? Um, actually, um, the long Christmas wish ko before I landed in Egypt is to bring home this crown. And nakatotoo naman, and I hope you like my Christmas gift to all of you. And um, my other Christmas wish is for, for myself to uh, actually love, love some family, love uh, love some friends, and to the people I meet. Uh, I hope whenever I smile to each and every person that I meet, I hope it spreads joy and happiness. Kasi bibigira sa taong humite and nakabago ng perspective all throughout the day sa ibang tao. I hope I can spread happiness, joy and love to the people that I need. And that's my Christmas wish to every person here and to and to all the people across our nation. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to see you all again. Yes. Chica Mabina. Number four. Uh, okay. Now, uh, one of the things I was really curious about when you were in Egypt and when you were traveling, what was it, what was it like walking around without a mask? Or did you wear a mask? Did, did you, was that question asked? No, no, no. Ah, okay. Uh, what was that like? Actually, we have to remove our masks the second we landed in Egypt. As I said a while ago, and daming uh, na insultohan pag mamas kami. And I have a story for that. Kasi si Mama Jo pumunta sa store wearing a mask sila talawa, and they said, Why are you wearing a mask? There's no COVID here. Take off your mask. Pagalit pa tayo lalaki na yun. And sabi ko, Mama Jong, I know it's very hard for us to adjust. Pero kailangan natin mag-adjust dito since sa Egypt tayo. We are in a different country and a different culture. We need to respect the Muslim sabi nila. And I hope at the end of this journey, we mag-negative tayo for stop this. And yun sinabi ko. Kasi I was very scared to stop this. And your swab test para sa Egypt is very different here in the Philippines. They have their own. Yeah, they have their own and it's painful. I know what's happening. And last question. 
Since now we're with ALD, the best talent manager in the country, Whoa. have your plans changed uh, of what you're going to be doing? Are you going to be going into showbiz? Are you going to be exploring that? Actually, first I'm going to fulfill my duties first as a Miss FLT International. Then second, I will for surely stop uh, for two or three years in pageantry and maybe join in showbiz. Because that's my my dream to become a sure. social. Yeah, but I have to finish school first. I'm only in grade 12. I'm studying some Bella University. <laughs> and I'm still taking uh, ABM, Accountancy, Business and Management Strand. So, yeah, I'm still graduating. And maybe after I graduate, I will um, take mass communication because I want to host when I grow up. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm going to suffer two or three years, then next time I'm going to join this group. Well, well, we're going to be looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bolden. Thank you. Hey, Ali, um, can you elaborate more about uh, the potential for you and your ambassadorship? What's the help of? United Nations. Um, uh, Dr. Amal is the chairman of the ecosystem, ecotourism in in you know in United Nations and and also his partner is a um, uh, handles the, the German ship of the ecotourism. So they are considered now as because they're considered a man, being a beauty queen is an ambassador for the wheel. So consider that sa Echo International automatic may award sila at recognition from the United Nations. And they have to work also in the United Nations for the activities of the of the ecotourism. Do you want to add to that? I was surprised kasi hindi ko alam na kasama pala yung sa price ko. Ngayon ko lang malalaman yung mga details and <laughs> I'm so happy. It's my uh, it's a big accomplishment for me to be a spokesperson and to be a, an, an ambassador uh, on how to save the environment, and I'm really looking forward to that training. Actually, there is an activity for you. have activities related to that. Yes, it is. Actually, Snapple the Tora Amal, it is my decision if I should be an ambassador for you, and because since he's in charge, I'm going to show this now. It's up to me to be uh, the ambassador of the event. We have a follow-up question from Eton. Uh, I have a question for Marina Stander. Since you are the Minister Arnold, uh, you're going to benefit show business. May we know your dream role? Who is the crush of the meeting member? Can you keep the uh, paper and uh, <laughs> what? Favorite, uh, I don't know, favorite actors and actors? Local? Local? Or international? Uh, favorite actor or dream role? A favorite actress would be Bea Alonso. Because when I started starting the pageantry, I told you that I was going to be able to see Bea Alonso, but I didn't see her. But I admired her. I didn't see her. And actually, si Bea galing umarte. And I really look up to her acting skills. And before I went to Egypt, sabi ni Darlo, I'm not at matutukan ng umiyak. Kaya yung Darlo at umiyak ka na. So sabi ko, hindi ko pa po kaya. I have to take acting lessons pa. And celebrity crush? Ano? Wala po. Si Darlo. My mom knows best eh, kasi ako hindi ko alam niya. Ano ba? Ano ba? Kasi kaya si Ana Nana. Daniel Padilla. Daniel Padilla. Si James Reed. Sino ba ba? Marami naman eh, pero Um, hindi naman yung die-hard crush. I really admire them as a 
celebrity and as an actor. I really love their acting skills, nga, as I said a while ago. And my dream role would be the Pita. And Contra Pita. <laughs> Malay mo. Whatever roles uh, put on me, I will, uh, changing roles will be put on me. I will try my best to act and uh, fulfill that uh, certain part of me. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, Father Magnesna. When we have a good morning, so I will offer between Dauna and Jessica. I don't think you can. Dauna? I don't think you can. Because I don't think you can. Thank you so much. I'm saying the press from nothing. I thought it was gonna be serious. 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 I'm really thankful that you're coming here today, because despite of this pandemic, and alam niyo naman, a small gathering lang pwede lang is 30 people and below. So I'm really thankful na you're coming here. I've seen a lot of familiar faces here again. And I can't wait to talk to you. And some new faces that I'm really thankful then. And I'm really thankful that you And I think you're going to be part of my life forever. Thanks, Rowan. And since I'm sure a lot of you are dying to have your one-on-one -on -one interviews with her, let's cut the Q&A short and to give you more time to interview. Again, thanks everyone for joining us this afternoon. Uh, advanced Christmas greetings to all of you. Thank you.